Hi everyone. Uh, today I will talk about uh, different types of goods in economics. Um, do you know what goods are? Goods are everything that can be sold, like um, table, apple, food. Sold. Sold. What? Yeah, that's. What? <laughs> um, and even services can be sold. Um, servants, waiters, waitresses, and um, health services. They are also considered as goods. So, um, first, I will give a brief introduction on supply demand theory. Then I will explain the law of demand, which is one of the basic rules in economics. And then I explain the type of the goods, normal goods, inferior goods, and given goods. Um, in economics, we usually assume that the market is in equilibrium, which means supply of a good is equal to the demand of the good. And it holds for all goods in economy. So do you think it's right? I think it's always not in the equilibrium. Yes. So uh, we don't actually know what, why we are assuming this. <laughs> Just because uh, to make models simpler, I guess they are not too far away. Even if they are not equal, uh, the, uh, the prices change accordingly so that they will go to the equilibrium, but uh, they might not. If uh, supply is less than demand of a good, then there is a shortage of that good. And if you increase the price of that good, then the demand will decrease because it's more expensive now. And the supply will remain unchanged or it will increase a little because it's more expensive to buy. So that supply and demand will be equal eventually. And if it's the other way around, then there, is a, there will be a surplus and a decrease. Uh, decreasing the price will make them equal again. And we will focus on the demand side um, on this lecture. So uh, demand theory says that uh, one price of a good increases, the demand for that good decreases. So, um, let's say you're um, buying coffee for every morning, and um, you're buying it for two dollars, but suddenly it increases to three dollars. Uh, would you change it? Or would you change your demand? Yeah. That yes. depends, depends on how much I love coffee. <laughs> yes, so it depends on you, that's the thing. So there's a human factor in it, but usually we assume that. And the other way around, if price decreases, demand increases. Um, so most goods obey this rule, but there are some which do not, um, as I will explain later, the given goods. So normal, the first type of goods is normal goods. And um, holidays, cars, diamonds, fashion brands, etc. all of them are normal goods. Normal goods are the most obvious goods, as in as income increases, demand increases. As um, price, as price increases, demand for the normal good decreases. So, um, it's the natural thing to do, right? When a price of something increases, then you decrease your demand. And vice versa. And inferior goods are... Um, it can change uh, to the person's point of view, but 
um, potatoes, bread, flour and meats are usually considered as inferior goods because um, these goods are um, those goods that as income increases, demand for the inferior good decreases. So as your income increases, your demand for inferior goods decreases. You should expect the other way, right? So um, these type of goods are like potatoes, or I like potatoes, but uh, in the times of famine, people usually um, buy potatoes more. And if, um, if price of bread increases, then your income, uh, the, this effect on your income will be that your income will decrease because you buy bread. Because, um, yeah, anyway. So um, as bread price increases, your in, uh, income decreases so that you buy bread more because it's an inferior good. Because um, it's, it's the thing you buy the most. And the boys also. And different goods are the. Yes, we are out of time. Uh, I'll just summarize this. On different goods are the most um, different type of goods because as the price increases, demand for the different. This should be different. Different goods um, decrease increases, and as the price decreases, demand for the different goods um, in decreases. So um, noodles, rice and wheat in some parts of China are claimed to be different goods. And sochu in Japan and French wine are claimed to be different goods. As in, um, as in when price of French wine increases, uh, people think that it's more qualified so that they will buy more. So that's all for today. Do you have questions? <laughs>